It's my birthday! Happy birthday! Time for a birthday vlog! Let's go! Twelve seconds later. Hey, Auntie Boo! We just wanted to say Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Auntie Boo! First stop is Canmore and we're at the uh, Rocky Mountain Beer Company and we have um, some delicious treats. So, um, what are we bringing this out here? Terry has got uh, a Nanaimo bar. Yes, I am. And I have a uh, gluten free um, vegan chocolate. Cupcake, what's it called? Uh, the Prince of Darkness Brownie. It's called the Prince of Darkness Brownie, so we'll give it a go. This is downtown uh, Canmore. Very like sleepy western style um, town. So we've come horribly unprepared for our three days. Um, adventuring around Banff, um, um, the National Park, um, doing a lot of like walks and hikes. So um, we've stopped in Banff first and foremost to go buy some uh, walking, hiking boots. Um, so yeah, come along and let's find some hopefully pretty-esque shoes. Snap! 
Yeah, we can't see the mountains at all. Um, the smoke is pretty bad covering it at the moment, but downtown Banff is beautiful. But up first, Christmas shop. So uh, hiking boots was a bust, but um, we did go into a few shops, so I'm going to show you what we um, picked up. So the first one we went into was um, the uh, Banff candy store, um, and it's a really pretty uh, kind of vintage confectionery shop um, with lots of different um, offerings in it, and it had quite a few um, English sweets in it too, but we got some random kind of uh, treats. We got um, ass kicking peanuts, um, so we can kind of try these out. I guess they're supposed to be... Um, super spicy, they're um, habanero pepper uh, peanuts, so we'll give them a go. Um, I am addicted to Airheads and I have not tried the strawberry one yet so I'm pretty excited to try it. Um, we picked up, keeping in the same vein of like spicy foods, we picked up some um, Mentos um, Spice It Up uh, sweets too. Um, they had loads of different types of mentors in there, um, loads of different ones that we'd never heard of before. Um, and then we picked up a uh, Milky Way uh, salted caramel. This is Terry's, one of Terry's favourite uh, American chocolate bars, so pretty excited to find it. And then um, one of my work friends introduced me to Jubes, to Jujubes. Um, she eats them for breakfast, so I gave them a go and they're delicious. They kind of taste like what we have back home called Midget Gems. Um, so they had a Jube Jube. Um, nugget bar um, so yeah I'm kind of excited to try um, it too I think it's quite sweet and then we went to um, the Banff uh, Spirit of Christmas store so um, anytime me and Terry travel we always try to pick up uh, Christmas decorations whenever we're doing a tree every year it takes forever to put it up because we basically talk through all the memories that are associated with each um, uh, decorations. So we picked up a couple of decorations. I got one for my mom too. Um, but I won't show that one in case she's watching. Um, but I got uh, a marijuana leaf um, because it's the whole reason why we are in uh, Calgary is that my job is intertwined within this. Um, and then we also picked up the, the proper like touristy um, must-have Christmas decoration for the tree so um, yeah we picked up a, a grizzly bear Banff Canada um, Christmas decoration so I think it's really cute so yeah I'm excited to do, um, do your Christmas tree this year and um, have these additions we've brought over all of our Christmas decorations from home too so um, yeah it's definitely we're, we're building up quite a, a collection of um, of decorations but uh, now that we've done that we don't have any shoes but we're going to head on now and we're going to go and do Johnson Canyon um, hike so uh, yeah wish it wishes luck we'll see you whenever we get there bye almost the top we've got what like Less than 100 meters About to 100 go. meters, yeah. It's been pretty good on the way up. Some really nice views of like smaller falls and stuff like that. Yep, the lower falls, we gave that a miss. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do it on the way back down. Huge cues for it to kind of see them. And that is the whole cue for the lower falls. So we went straight for the higher falls, or the upper falls. The sun's starting to come out, yeah. The sun's starting to come out absolutely beautiful up here um a lot of stairs so if you're not uh, very mobile i wouldn't try it but yeah see you at the yeah. top nature's stair master <laughs> look mom we made it <laughs> The Upper Falls Lookout Point. So. Yeah, 
up here. We'll show you the falls now, but um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It is a, it's a decent enough walk, not too hard, not too strenuous. Definitely, definitely worth it. A lot of uphill. Um, kind of looking forward to going back down because it'll be downhill. It'll be a lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah. But um, yeah, we too see the falls. They're absolutely stunning. So this is uh, Johnson Tank. successfully completed Johnson Canyon 34 years of age and I can I can still <laughs> hike, still hike. Six, hike six miles was that what you were six for miles is what we did up and down so it was um it was good it was beautiful sun setting so now we're gonna go and find somewhere to eat for dinner Highly recommend um, the restaurant we went to, My Pine Stump. It was delicious. The um, probably some of the best Mexican food we've had. Um, so I'd highly recommend if you come to Bump um, and pretty good price into this hotel room is probably one of the nicest hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. I'll give you a little tour of the room. So if you're in Bump and want to stay here, then you can kind of get a, an idea of, of what you get. Then we walk into the room. And we have a lovely little seating area. You get your TV and um, a desk if you're doing any work from, um, if you need to do any work. And then a huge high um, bed. It kind of reminds me of like the Princess and the Pea. It's one that we're gonna have to like climb up into. So it looks super, super, super comfy. Um, I am wrecked after our walk today around the Johnson Canyon. So I cannot wait to fall asleep. So the room is gorgeous absolutely stunning so um i can't i can't wait to kind of explore the hotel a little more they seem to have a lot of restaurants they had a balcony that you could sit out on and overlook um all the mountains that are surrounding the resort tomorrow whenever we leave i'll take some video outside so i can um show you what it's like here um and before i go i just want to show you this is a uh, one of my birthday presents from terry so it's a, a cobra kai uh t-shirt um, and the back of it, I don't know how I can show you this, maybe if I turn this around and then turn you around, I might see the back of it, no, oh, I might have to get Terry up. oh, here we go. It has learned to fight during Cobra Kai and has Johnny on the back. So uh, yeah, we're huge uh, Cobra Kai fans, huge Craddy Kid fans. Like I'm, I'm a child of the 80s. I was born in 87, grew up in the 90s. Craddy Kid, Three Ninjas. Yeah, they they were my jam growing up. Still are. Absolutely love anything to do with uh, karate or yeah, anything to do with the 90s. For the rest of tonight, we are just going to relax. Um, Terry's promised me that I get to watch some K drama, so. Um, I'm going to watch Love Alarm season two. Pretty excited for that. And we're just going to chill for the rest of the night um, and enjoy the last few hours of my birthday um, until it's put to bed for another year. And then tomorrow we have a big day ahead of us. So we're going to get up really early and we're going to do some of the lake, starting with Lake Louise, the infamous Lake Louise. So we're going to try to get there really early in the morning to um, hopefully miss the crowds. But um, yeah, without uh, kind of drawing this out any longer, thank you so much for watching um, day one of my birthday vlog. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, see you tomorrow for day two. Bye.